Hey guys, Ike here from Ike'sOutdoors.com. We're here today to do a review on the APA Mamba M6. Um, this is a short brace height speed bow, specifically designed for 29 inch and under uh, draw length guys, but that, it does have a wider range of draw length than that. But um, IBO speeds on this thing is 358 feet per second. And when we set it up, I've got a 27 and a half inch module, and it's the only one I had, so we set it up. As close to IBO spec as I possibly could, I set it up at 70 pounds, had a 352 grain arrow, and we had a D-loop on the string and a peep side in there, and a 27 and a half inch draw length, um, 70 pounds, I'm not sure if I said that, but I was getting right at 320, getting 318 to 320. So, 27 and a half inch draw length, you'll add about 25 feet per second, a little bit of weight on the string, it's gonna be really, really close to hitting that 350 at 358. IBO rating. I would say it was. It's definitely going to get in the 350, low 350s, and would probably push that that IBO rating um, of 358 feet per second. Um, as the name states, this is a, a six and an eighth inch brace height bow. Let off is 75% on this thing. Um, weight on this thing is 3.8 pounds, and that's one of the things I noticed right out of the box. And everybody who picked this bow up, I, I showed it to a bunch of other people at work and stuff like that. Uh, remarked on how light this bow was. Of course, I've got a sight and everything on it now, but on how light this bow just just felt extremely light. So 3.8 pounds, uh, available in peak weights of 50, 60, and 70 pounds, with draw length adjustments from 24 to 30, and it is available in half inch draw length, and it is a module based draw length adjustment. Um, this has the Easy Tune module on here. Um, really nice, really tunable rest on here. We'll talk about it in a little bit. But a uh, really nice, really tunable rest on here. Just really, really cool uh, design on the, or I'm sorry, on the on the cam. Really cool design on the cam, and a uh, really cool bow overall. Just has a really uh, cool set of features to it, and just just a very unique looking bow, if you, as you can tell just by looking at it. Um, this one is in the buckskin stealth. This has a gray and it, and it blends to black, and this is one of their standard finishes. It's also available in uh, Vanish, which is a camo, and available in a matte black finish. Now, one of the things APA offers is uh, somewhat of a custom uh, finish on here. You can choose from a couple other finishes. You can also choose from uh, Mothwing Winter Mimicry, if I can say it, which is a really cool pattern. You can also uh, dip it in carbon fiber. You can have it dipped in snakeskin stealth, which is pretty cool. Violet 3D and pink camo, which looks pretty cool as well. Um, this has a ton of different options or different features to it. It's a really cool bow as far as eye appeal. It's got a really nice set of just really slim line, really nice uh, limbs on here that are really well built. It's got a nice limb pocket on here. A uh, good pivot point to it, a couple inches up from the from your limb bolt, and just a really cool looking design. Got a barrel nut in there for your uh, limb bolt to go into, and just a really cool looking design as far as the riser goes. Really cool cutouts, really good machining, and the finish on this thing is flawless. This is a fade finish, and it is absolutely flawless. So now to some of the other cool features of this riser. Um, this has a fang on top, which you're going to see is pretty common with the APA bows, and it's the only one I've ever seen this bow on. This is for basically hanging your bow up. You can hang it on your bow hanger, you can hang it on a limb, however you want to do it. And that basically is going to keep you from having to hang it by the cam, which I like because you hang it up there, when you go to take it off, it's a lot easier to get it off than having it on the cam and trying to get it out or having it under the limb and trying to get it out and different stuff like that. So it's a, it's a little bit of a different design than what I've seen and it, it's a really cool way to hang your bow up and make it to where it's easily accessible. Um, this is the BM cam, which like I said earlier is, is a uh, pretty unique cam system, pretty adjustable uh, or pretty tunable. I mean, I had no problems. Tuning this bow setup was, was very, very easy. Uh, it's got a roller guard on here just to help with some friction so you don't fool feel the friction of a slide. Um, it's also got a handle on the front, which is really, really cool. Nice handle feature there. It's really comfortable, really cool, easy way to carry the bow. Um, down here, we've got a tool center. And in this tool center, we've got a broadhead knife sharper, which is carbine, or carbine um, blocks on there. So you can sharpen a broadhead, you can sharpen a knife with it, fixed blade broadhead. And I've sharpened a, a knife with this when I was just messing around and it does a really, really good job. 
a sharpened a knife. Um, got a broadhead wrench here, which actually looks like the Canadian maple leaf, which is really cool. This is a Canadian company. You'll see the maple leaf there again. It also has a knock tool on here, so you can put your knock in there and actually rotate that around and uh, rotate your, your knock on there. Another cool feature of this thing is you've got a set knob right here. You can take this knob out. And right here we have a cam lock. You can actually take, the, 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 per their instructions, is to put this thing on the ground kind of like a crossbow and put your foot on the string, pull it back, and slide this cam lock right there in one of those holes. So well, it will be on this side of the riser. But that will lock your cam into position. So if you need to change a cable, do some maintenance to your bow, and you're out in the field, don't have access to a press, you can use that. And that stores right there. And one of my first thoughts was I was afraid that was going to cause some noise, but... I, I don't see any uh, noise from this thing at all. So, uh, we're going to give you some close-ups of this bow, and we're going to take it over and, and do a little bit of shooting with it now. I think I failed to mention before, but this is a 32 and a quarter axle to axle bow. So it's a good axle to axle. I like that in that range, 32, 34, you know, somewhere in that range for me for my height is a really nice uh, range for the axle to axle. And I think uh, it holds, I think it's a good axle to axle for shootability because it holds nice and solid. Um, the grip on this bow is really nice as well. It's got a pretty slim grip. You're shooting off of the riser. Got two insets here, just uh, wooden insets. Look really cool. Um, and I'm shooting this with an APA Twister rest, which we're going to be doing a, a review on. But you'll notice on a draw cycle on this bow. I mean, this is a this is set at about 65 pounds, and it's actually no, it's actually set down farther than that. It's actually closer to 70. Um, and this bow, I mean, it's a speed bow. It's a, it's 358 feet per second IBO bow, but the draw cycle on this bow is is really pretty good. It's a little bit stiff, but it's not a harsh draw cycle. Um, you start feeling weight a couple inches in, and uh, it builds up nice and slow. It doesn't build up quick to its peak. It builds up nice and slow, and when it drops off, starts dropping off, it drops off nice and slow. Uh, so it's got a pretty good draw cycle to it, four, six, and an eighth inch, 358 feet per second IBO bow. You can see there, no real big drop off. It's a nice, smooth, continuous pull. Bow is very, very comfortable at full draw. Got a good, solid back wall to it. It's got cable stuff built into the module, and it's got a very good, very solid back wall to it. You'll notice the bow had just a little bit of kick, slightest kick in the bottom limb. It actually um, kind of moved away from me and to the left a little bit but not too bad especially considering i'm shooting without a stabilizer bow is nice it's quiet i hit my jacket on that last shot uh, good quiet bow vibration free i mean hardly any noise in it at all which is pretty remarkable for uh the speeds that it's getting this bow is basically shooting 320 feet per second as it sits bow feels really good at full draw. It has a really nice, stable shooting platform uh, as far as creep goes. If you relax with this bow, you can see it's already wanting to... It does ride the edge a little bit. It does want to go a little bit.
And overall, the bow shoots pretty nice, shoots pretty smooth. And for me, uh, you know, six and an eighth inch brace height being a shorter draw archer, it still shoots um, really good groups for me. It shoots really good consistency um, out to 20, 30, and 40 yards. I'm just as accurate with this bow as I am with any of my other bows. Um, shoots really nice for me, uh, even with the 6 and an 8 bit uh, very soft. Again, back to the draw cycle. You know, for a speed bow, it's got a pretty good draw cycle to it. Like I said, it's a little bit stiff at the most, is about all I can say to it. Doesn't have a big hump. Nice, smooth, no big drop off. I mean, I really like the draw cycle. Especially considering the kind of speeds that I'm getting out of this bow. And I'm shooting a really lightweight arrow. This is my IBO weight arrow. This is a 352 grain arrow. So I'm shooting a really lightweight arrow. It's still pretty quiet bow, pretty vibration free. And you can just hear there, I just cracked an arrow I'm about 20 yards away. And I just cracked an arrow with my last shot. I put up a really good, consistent group. Um, so this is APA and this is the Mamba M6. It's, this is a fantastic bow. Um, I didn't talk about the strings. I'm not sure what, what kind of strings these are. The factory strings on this bow though. Um, absolutely no stretch to them at all. Really good set of factory strings on there. No wear and tear to them. Have done a really, really good job. Uh, as far as tuning this bow goes, this rest is new to me. This is an APA uh, twister rest. It's, it's new to me, but the bow itself was still really, really easy to tune and uh, had no problems getting with the broadhead tune, no problems getting consistent arrow flight out of it. And as you heard in that last one, uh, 20 yards away and I'm cracking arrows with it. Uh, just a really good, solid bow. Shooting this thing as it is with no stabilizer, still feels really good. Balances out really well. A little bit of vibration, or uh, what little vibration it has to it. It's very minimal. It does have a little bit of a kick. You can see when I was shooting, the bottom limb kind of went out and away from me. Uh, so a little bit of a kick to it, but nothing too bad. And really considering the IBO rating of this bow and the fact that it is a speed bow, I'm pretty impressed with the draw cycle. Draw cycle is pretty nice. It's, it's a little bit stiff, like I said, but it's it doesn't have a big hump. At 70 pounds, I have no problem pulling this bow, and I have no problems keeping this bow held back. Uh, no problem with it. It does kind of want to ride the edge, but so if you pull it back and you relax with it, it will want to take off on you a little bit, but it's, it's really not too bad. Uh, the cam is a really, really nice cam. I really like the cam design on this thing, and overall, I just love the design and the look of this APA. This is just a really, really sweet little bow. You're not going to find a bow that's much cooler looking than that. I mean, between the fang, the tool center, the machining, and the finish on this thing, it looks really good and it performs really well too. So, uh, very, very impressed with this APA. I think it's just a fantastic little bow and I've been wanting to get my hands on one of these for a long time and finally got my hands on one and I am not disappointed a bit. So, for more information on APA, we'll put a link right here and we'll put a direct link down in the description so you can click on that and go right to their, to their lineup. They've got a fantastic line. This is just one of many, many bows they offer a solo cam bow, they offer several different bows, they offer they have an air lineup that is a little bit lighter than these, doesn't have the, the front grip on the, on the on it, and they have just a ton of finishes and just a ton of really cool options that you're not going to find on any other bow. Everyone I showed this bow to uh, was just absolutely blown away with how cool it looked and how good this bow looked, and the guys actually came over and shot it, and all of them really, really liked this bow. So. Be sure to check these guys out. They make some fantastic bows and some fantastic products, and I'm really impressed with this M6. So uh, be sure to check them out. And for more product reviews, how-to videos, be sure to check us out at ikesoutdoors.com. Appreciate you guys watching.